Cristiano Ronaldo dos Santos Aveiro was born on February 5, 1985, in Funchal, Portugal, on the small island of Madeira off the country's southwestern coast. He is the youngest of four children born to Maria Dolores dos Santos and Jose Dinis Aveiro. He was named after former U.S. President Ronald Reagan, one of his father's favorite actors. Ronaldo grew up in a largely working-class neighborhood in a small tin-roofed home that overlooked the ocean. He was introduced to the game of soccer through his dad, who worked as an equipment manager at a boys' club for a time. His early life was shaped by hardship, as his father often drank too much. To help keep the children fed and maintain some financial stability, Ronaldo's mother worked as a cook and cleaning person. The young athlete had often pushed for his father to enter rehab and address his drinking. His father, however, never accepted the offer. By the time he was 10 years old, Ronaldo was already recognized as a phenom, a kid who ate, slept, and drank soccer. All he wanted to do as a boy was play football. His godfather, Fernão Sousa, recalled for British reporters, adding, he loved the game so much he'd miss meals or escape out of his bedroom window with a ball when he was supposed to be doing his homework. By his early teens, Ronaldo's talent and legend had grown considerably. After a stint with Nacional da Liga de Madeira, he signed with Sporting Portugal in 2001. At age 16, Ronaldo was promoted from Sporting's youth team by first-team manager Laszlo Boloni, who was impressed with his dribbling. He subsequently became the first player to play for the club's under-16, under-17, and under-18 teams, the B team and the first team, all within a single season. On 14 August 2002, Ronaldo, then 17, played his first official match for the first team in a UEFA Champions League qualifying round at Jose Alvalade Stadium against Inter Milan. He came on in the 58th minute in place of Tonito. As far as the Portuguese Football League system is concerned, Sporting CPB was the first team in his senior career playing domestically, where he debuted in a 2-1 away loss against Sport Club Lusitania on 1st September 2002 in a game for the Segunda Divisão B Championship played in the Azores. On 29th September 2002, Ronaldo made his debut in the Primera Liga, playing for Sporting CP's first team against Braga, and on 7th October, he scored two goals against Morirense in their 3-0 win. Over the course of the 2002-3 season, his representative suggested the player to Liverpool manager Gerard Houllier and Barcelona president Joan Laporta. Manager Arsène Wenger, who was interested in signing Ronaldo, met with him at Arsenal's stadium in November to discuss a possible transfer. Some other teams discussed with the Portuguese team to approach for a possibility transfer, like the French teams Auxerre and Lyon. In October 2002, Juventus scout Gianni Di Marzio, one of the club's 23 ones, presented Ronaldo's profile to executive Luciano Moggi, who prepared a 2.5 million euro offer for Sporting CP, including Marcelo Salas in exchange. Salas then refused to accept the transfer and the talks collapsed. Manchester United manager Alex Ferguson was determined to acquire Ronaldo on a permanent move urgently after Sporting defeated United 3-1 at the inauguration of the Estadio Jose Alvalade on 6 August 2003. Initially, United had planned to sign Ronaldo and loan him back to Sporting for a year. Having been impressed by him, the United players urged Ferguson to sign him. After the game, Ferguson agreed to pay Sporting 12.24 million pounds for what he considered to be one of the most exciting young players he had ever seen. A decade after his departure from the club, in 2013, Sporting honored Ronaldo by selecting him to become their 100,000th member.